Hey guys, this uh, video is continuation of part four. It now what we have to do is we have to see that the BDD flavor and uh, I'm also going to add the query parameter. So using this query parameter, I would like to filter down the result to just the female members. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to set this particular test case to false so that when I execute this while the next time it should not be executed. OK, and let me just grab this piece of code create another method out of it and let's give it a name get female okay member and this time it has to be pdd okay so i'm gonna get rid of uh, quite a few things in here okay i don't require this piece of code because i'm gonna work with uh, rest assured given when then syntax i definitely need the header so yep that's fine i don't need this okay body part is not applicable uh, I'm not going to send it like this for sure. Uh, a third part you guys have already seen. So I'm just going to focus on printing the body this time. OK, so I'm going to delete this part. All right. So now we have rest assured dot given and we're going to build on top of it. So uh, in given, we're going to say, hey, the first thing is the authentication scheme. OK, now then we say the authentication is of type basic authentication. So admin admin okay next thing what do you want to do so i just want to add the header okay so which header i want to add so i just want to add this particular header okay now the header is also added now comes the query parameter okay so now uh, a request can have single or multiple query parameters depending upon that right we are going to decide uh, how we are going to supply it so the method is obvious right you just start writing query parameter uh, so you can see in here you can provide the string uh, key and value combination uh, or you can also provide the map okay so i can do it like this for example i say hey uh, gender is going to be female simple uh, but there might be cases like I said you have to provide in the multiple one then how are you going to do it so it's it's very simple so you can create a map of type string string or whatever is uh, your case so in our case it is string string okay query params okay is equal to new hash map okay hash map and we are good now we have to use the put method of this so we say query params okay dot you have this put method and input now you can provide those values okay the same one like this okay and you can keep on adding more and more values in here so let me correct this okay and now instead of this what you can do is you can say query uh, param and you can pass in this okay and in our case it is this so let me just comment this out have a uh, set up uh, all this now uh, we are good to uh, send this request okay now to send this request guys you have to use the when method okay so as you could see this returns you the request specification object so we are getting there okay because this is what we did in the last uh, test case we created the request specification and from the request specification we use the request method you also have the get method in there okay so that's the thing you just say dot get and this is going to give you the response back as you could see okay now response is an interface so you can simply say uh, my response will go into this response okay uh like this okay now you have the response guys and what you can simply do is you can just you know print the body of it using this all right so this becomes your act okay all of this is your arrange okay so let's save it let's change it to true okay and let's execute this all right guys so you see that we are able to uh, see only the female candidate so that's great this is how you are going to add the uh, query parameter okay now next is we have to identify the specific member okay which means that we have to provide in the path parameter meaning we are going to hit this particular endpoint now and this is what we want to add okay let's see how we are going to achieve it so again let's set it to false and let me grab this code now okay uh, add it in here and let us change this to get specific member 
and we're going to use the BDD format only. Okay, so we are repeating this code again and again. So let's create a before uh, method. Okay, at before method. All right, and this again comes from your uh, test ng, and we're going to call it public void setup method. Okay, and in that we just simply uh, provide these two values and not void it has to be void all right so we are go you we don't need this but we definitely need to append the path parameter so I'm simply gonna say plus equal to and in here I just say forward slash and I pass the value dynamically okay so I say ID and then guys uh, instead of this query parameter we can get rid of this okay and we can simply say dot path parameter it's that simple okay so again if you have to pass in multiple you can use the map concept otherwise string is fine okay so in our case we just have to provide we have to say hey it's the id that you have to replace and you have to replace it the value three okay and then pretty much the same what you can also do now is just in case you want to also log the request object so what you can say is you can say log okay dot all so these are the methods which you can use to log your request object because still here remember we are constructing the request object all right so we are good let's change it to true and let us send this request okay now we should see only one record okay now you see your request is getting printed okay it tells you the URL and the ID and this is the response okay so we are good all right guys so since I was doing the copy paste so this thing is actually not required because we are using the auth and basic auth so one last thing before we conclude this video is uh, the static import from the rest assured class all right so we can make this code look nicer okay uh, by importing all the attributes from this rest assured class statically it is also mentioned on their documentation right in order to use rest assured effectively it is recommended to statically import methods from the following classes okay rest assured rest assured matches and the hamcrest matches okay so let's quickly do that okay and instead of making a change in here because otherwise i have to uh, you know make changes at all these places I'm just gonna say import static rest assured dot star okay so now I can create one test case at the bottom so I'm gonna just copy this okay this whole thing I'm gonna set it to false okay scroll to the bottom and then let's make the required changes in here okay so after static import guys you don't need this first of all we have to change the name of it so we say static okay that's fine uh, that's pretty much it I don't even need this rest assured anymore I can start with given directly okay and just make it look nicer okay and let's do one thing let's write the assertion also this time okay so let's not store it anywhere okay so we have this given and then guys to write the assertion this far you are getting the response back but in case you want to have the response which you can validate okay that you get only when you use then and now you see you get the validatable response and now you can write all your assertions right away okay so what are those right so we said we have a status line then we have headers and we also have uh, the body right so let's write one assertion for each of these categories so we say dot and then you say okay so you have the status code my status code is 200 that I'm expecting uh, do I also have status line so yeah we have the status line as well and in here I simply provide the that value which is HTTP uh, forward slash 1.1 that's a version and then 200 okay then what do we have so we have a header so do we have a method yes we have a method and in here I just say the header name is x uh, powered 
by and the value is QA box let's test QA box let's test okay so the header part is also done now we come to come to the body and I say body okay so in here uh, you see the matcher okay let's first look out for a particular string uh, in the body okay but for that you you require something like uh, a method which is contains a string and this time we say let's say um, we're, we're looking out for the string uh, lion okay this particular method is there in the mcrest matches library we have to do the static import of it so we say import static org dot hamcrest dot matches okay dot star you don't need this anymore because using the bdd style only we are writing the assertions so now the error goes away uh, let us save this and execute it all right so it passes uh, but you know guys the problem with this 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 string could be anywhere okay so a better assertion would be again we are going to use the matcher one but now in this time I provide the exact JSON path where I want to look out for this value and that is name okay and in here I just say equal to okay and I provide line okay so let us run this okay so it passes if you change this value to something else like Linus execute it it will fail all right so it's failed and we see the reason as well all right guys so this is about your get request I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching